the Instagram account of The Good, The Bad and The Rugby podcast co-hosted by Mike recently published a throwback snap of Zara's husband. The picture was taken in the late 1990s, when Mike was a member of the Bath rugby team. In the photograph, Princess Anne's son-in-law looked away from the camera while sitting down near a river with hands in his pockets. He donned the jersey of the Bath rugby team and had, as noted by a few Instagram users, a head full of hair. One cheeky social media user commented on the photograph saying, I assumed he was born bald and stayed that way. Another joked, I always forget he had hair once. And a third added, straight nose and hair. Oh to be young again. The caption to the picture shared by the good, the bad and the rugby account joked, felt cute. Might delete later. Mike republished this snap on his account among other Instagram stories, adding the comment well, hello. Looking good. Mike joined the Bath team in 1997 when he was only 18. He made his England debut in 2003 years later he was a member of the national team which won both the Six Nations Championship and the Rugby World Cup. Mike, who married Zara in September 2011, is the host of the rugby podcast The Good, the bad and the rugby with James Haskell and Alex Payne. During this season of the podcast, the former rugby player made important and personal announcements. Last year, he revealed Zara was pregnant with their third baby. And in late March, he casually announced his wife had given birth to a baby boy, Lucas Phillip. Mike, who is also the father of MIA and Lena, spoke about his weekend saying, Saturday, loved all the rugby. I was actually genuinely angry after the England game. He then continued saying, and then Sunday got even better because a little baby boy arrived at my house. Upon birth, Lucas was the 10th great-grandchild of the Queen, followed three months later by Meghan and Prince Harry's daughter Lilibet Diana. Earlier this week, Zara and Mike were pictured together at Royal Ascot, their first official outing since the funeral of Prince Philip. But Mike also appeared on BBC Breakfast on Wednesday to speak to a deeply personal issue, his father's battle against Parkinson's disease. Speaking to Sally Nugent, he said, I was 25 and rugby was going really well and I was focused on that. Then in 2011 we got married, you could see the effects were starting to grow on him. This is in terms of curvature to the spine and he had to have surgery on that and then slowly from that point over the last 10 years there have been loads of other problems that have occurred because of it. Mike said the lockdown made him appreciate even more his family. He said, what lockdown has done, when you don't see someone for such a long period of time, you sometimes miss what gradually appears. It is one of those things, if I look back I take them for granted, my mum and dad.